Greetings from bikinis and martinis. Today I'm going to show you how to do your own gel nails the way that I did mine and then maybe you'll join me to have a Grey Goose Vodka Martini. Hi everyone, we're going to do our nails today. I need to remove the polish on this hand and this is a gel polish that's so going to require a soak off. I'm going to show you how I do it. So I've got five squares of foil and I like to make them um, a little bit more oblong because you're gonna be wrapping the foil around your nail bed. You wanna be careful where you choose to do this. I've got a great stainless steel um, counter, uh, so there's absolutely no, no worries about getting any product on the table. Um, so now I've got, um, I'm all set up and ready to go, and I'm just gonna rest my finger. Let me take this down a little bit more. Rest it down wrap it around, pinch, pull it all the way around until it is on. You want it to be as tight as possible. Don't worry about perfection, it'll be fine. And then I pinch, see how, here's the end of my finger, I've pinched it, and squish it all the way down. Nice and tight. The thumb is a little bit um, difficult for people to do. There's two ways of doing it. Well, there's probably three ways of doing it. Um, you could take your saturated cotton and just rest it on top and then try to wrap the foil. I find that to be awkward. And in fact, when you put the foil on top of the cotton pad that's just sitting there, because you only have one hand, uh, the foil tends to make the cotton pad um, move all the way around. Instead, what I'm gonna do is put my, my thumb, I have to lift this up to do it. I'm gonna put my thumb this direction instead of face down. I'm also gonna hold the side. See how there's a little bit of a tail? I'm gonna hold that. When I press this down, I'm gonna have a full cotton pad that's saturated on my nail bed. And then using my index finger, roll the foil upward, wrap around, pinch, and it's now all secure. All right, about 10 minutes have gone by and it's now time for me to take off the old polish. Uh, I do a little twist and then I pull off the um, pad and using the flat side of my cuticle stick, I scrape down. Um, it's important that you, you do allow the acetone to stay on your nail bed as long as possible, but you also want to be careful that you don't let it stay on so long that it completely dries out your nail. Now it's time to clean off the nail beds, uh, make sure that any residual product is off by using one of these, um, I can't remember what this thing is called, a square, whatever and then make sure if I've screwed anything up with the filing of my nails, I'll get them back into shape um, and then uh, carry on with cleaning them with the rubbing alcohol, putting down the base coat, the color, and then the top coat. And then there's one last thing that I do for my nails and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, so first I want to tell you what equipment I have. I have a Jellish uh, UV lamp. Um, or I'm sorry, it's not UV, it's LED, I forgot, I had upgraded. It's also pretty small, as you can see, it's made for one hand, um, and it automatically comes on when you put your hand in. I also have uh, rubbing alcohol. Um, I actually really enjoy this product, and it is one of the least expensive products out there. I use uh, base and gel coat, uh, base and top coat from Daisy D&D, &D, and um, because they are, it's such a quality product and it is also one of the least expensive, um, I have a variety of uh, nail polishes, which by the way, you could probably see in my case right there, um, of different colors. I uh, just did my, my toes in Snow White. I'm doing my fingers in gel Snow White as well. I have a cuticle eliminator. I've got a buffing pad. I've got my cuticle cutters. I've got a cuticle push st stick, and of course, an emery board. A couple of the things that um, I wanna point out for those of you that may be doing a manicure on your boat. Um, this is not just true for 
um, gel polish, but you also want to think about this if you're using, you know, regular polish on your nails. You don't want to do it in direct light. Um, so I have everything closed on the boat inside the salon. Every um, window, you know, whether it's um, the hatches or, you know, just the windows around the side of the salon, I have them all closed. And that way um, I don't have to worry about um, curing my polish because you will, the UV light uh, in sunlight will start to cure your polish. So now that um, my fingers are ready to go, all my nails have been cleaned and polished and buffed, um, the last step that I take before I actually do the manicure is I take the rubbing alcohol and I clean the nail beds. So first thing we get started now that um, the nail beds have been cleaned with the rubbing alcohol, I'm just gonna put that on so it doesn't, is the base gel. All right, so I'm done with the base. I'm gonna close the lid. Done with the base. This is a very fast um, curing product. So five seconds is all I need um, for the base coat to cure. So now I'm ready to go ahead and get started on polishing. So this is what my brush looks like. It might be too much polish, we're gonna see. If it is, I can always drag it off. Okay, I'm left-handed, this is my right hand. So this is always the, the, the worst manicure that I always do, is gonna be on my left hand. So I just did a dot, I wanted to see how thick is this product, it's looking pretty good. There you go. Time for the top gel. You want to get a lot of it off. I mean, you do not want there to be a, just this huge amount. Unlike the base coat, the top gel is generally more fluid. I put a, a little bit of a blob on each nail. And then I come back. This way it helps to um, distribute the, the product uh, more evenly around the, the bed. Well, actually it gets the excess off of the brush. All right, the last step is rubbing alcohol, a lint-free um, pad. And that, my friends, is it. Um, the nails have been through a lot. You know, you've got uh, acetone, you've got rubbing alcohol, you've got chemical, um, and uh, it's important that your nail beds get some moisture and conditioning. And I am fairly generous with it. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday wherever you are and whoever you're with and whatever you're doing. I'm going to enjoy this Mary with my man out on the patio also known as the cockpit on a boat, and contemplate the rest of my day. Enjoy.